here we are. Um, this is our sofa in our living room. As you can see, it is well used. I haven't done anything with it. I've taken some stuff there because the old wife she likes to pile stuff on the on the arm there for some reason. She's uh, slightly insane. Um, but it's quite well used. Um, I like to try and shampoo it every. I like to do it every couple every six months or so. Really, it must be four to five months since I last done it. But it's it's getting a little bit. Um, you know, I do hoover it every every other day. You know, quite regularly. But um, it's a quite a lot of used, quite a lot of stuff spilt on it, you know, with amber and everything. So what I've got here is the old George. Um, I use this stuff every time for the carpet and the upholstery. It's uh, I have got the pneumatic stuff that comes with the George, but I don't like the. I want to save it, um, so I just use this stuff. It's quite cheap, but it's the only stuff that Tesco does actually that I've seen. And it works very well, smells very nice, it leaves a very nice fresh smell afterwards. It's lovely stuff this, I like it. There might be better stuff out there, but that does a job for me. So yeah, I've got the George. Hello George. There we go. And obviously the upholstery stuff, it's been kept in the shed actually, it's got a little bit, uh, a bit of dust on it. And to do the um, hoovering, before I go ahead and do the shampooing, I've got the trusty old DC-40 there, along with my tripod that's going to be um, holding the camera. So, without any further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hoover the cushions and everything. Um, oh look, that's when we got married. I'm going to hoover the cushions and everything uh, thoroughly before I go ahead and start shampooing. Well, there you go. Um, I've taken off the cushions and the back cushions for the back because I just take the covers off them when they go in the wash. But for these big cushions, they, they, you can see there, they um, I, don't, I can't take them off. They are removable, but I'm worried because they're a tight fit on the on the sponge. That if I take them off, if they do happen to shrink in the wash, they won't go back on again. So I just I just use the George. It's uh possibly a safer option but for the back ones they're quite loose fit anyway they're quite a loose fitting you know so if they happen to did happen to shrink it wouldn't be a bad thing they won't shrink if you wash them properly but there you go right I'm gonna set up the old George now right then here we go um, I've got my cushions here I'll take them off the sofa because sometimes it's a little bit easier um, it doesn't really matter what you're doing really so what I'm going to do is, because these cushions have like a grain, I suppose they're called, well, it, it goes this way, it don't go that way. If you do it that way, it makes things harder. I'm just going to follow the grain, so I'm just going to go like that. And uh, what I tend to do is I'll do a wet pass up like that, and then I'll just do a, a dry pass down to suck up any of the water. Um, it might be a right and a wrong way, people are going to probably complain you're doing it wrong, but I don't care because it works for me. So here we go.
There we are. Nicely done. Looks like a, uh, a nice new sofa now. <laughs> I haven't got that far. Um, there's a few um, wear marks on it that I couldn't obviously get out because they're wear marks. Um, you might have noticed before. There's two holes there that I've worn through because this is where the old wife likes to sit and she sits there pretty much all day long. Um, so that's worn out and that sponge is extremely soft as well where she sits all the time. But other than that, the rest of it's okay. Um, you know, this has come out pretty well as always. Don't know whether it's going to show up very well. It seems a little bit blurry on here. Maybe the light's not good enough. But um, it's all come up like new sofa. It's all gone black again. Before it had sort of like a brown tinge to it because it had, had so much food spilt on it, stuff spilt on it, drinks spilt on it, just general dirt. But now it's all come up pretty well. I did, I forgot to add, I put a little bit of, um, I always put a little bit of fabric softener, um, freshener stuff, pure, com um, pure comfort, um, comfort pure, whatever it's called, in here. And obviously that leaves a little bit of residue, but that's just the way it is, it's just not, it's not a bad thing, you can always wash it out. But it leaves a nice smell to the fabric afterwards, as well as the um, stuff, the soap. But that's what the water is like, you see, it weren't too dirty, obviously it is a bit dirty, but it weren't too bad. Um, I've had a lot worse, especially when I've done the car, that come out black and it had all grit and dirt in the bottom of it. But um, yes, it's not too bad. Um, it's actually alright. I'll tell you what, the George is a lovely is a lovely machine for cleaning upholstery. But for doing carpets, if you want to do carpets, you want to get you want to get something different. And uh, I might do a video on what to get if you want to do carpets. Um, but uh, as far as upholstery goes, you know, cars, sofas, anything like that, you want to get one of these Georges, um, because they're sort of semi-industrial, like the com commercial, because a lot of um, car valiators and people get a George. Um, very, very good, very sturdy, and uh, great suction, and uh, they've got a separate pump, which is always a bonus. So there we go. Nice, clean sofa. That's what I've been doing today. Now, these cushions and them ones are going to go in the wash now in the washing machine to be washed while well, this is all drying it'll take a couple of hours to dry and uh, job done so there we go that's what I've been doing today <laughs>